a visit to Gully Branch Tree Farm, Cochrane, Georgia, where students explore a working, sustainable forest. Welcome to Gully Branch Tree Farm, the 2009 National Tree Farm of the Year. For the past 22 years, Earl and Wanda Bars have hosted more than 15,000 students and adults from this area and beyond. Their primary focus is ensuring the next generation connects working, sustainable forests to a better quality of life. Each spring, hundreds of students from Bleckley County Schools pour from buses eager to see and do hands-on activities related to forestry, clean water, clean air, and wildlife. The wagon ride around Gully Branch, hosted by partners from the Georgia Forestry Commission, allows students and adults a bird's eye view of the tree farm from intensively managed forest stands to diverse wildlife habitats. Today, we're gonna ride through and we're gonna look at some stuff on Gully Branch. We're gonna have a great ride. Uh, we're going to ride through and we're going to look at some places that's been burned that Miss uh, Wanda and Mr. Earl Barr, uh, they actually own Gully Branch and we're going to ride through and look at some of the stuff that they burned. Because they burned, they're less likely to have a wildfire. It's pretty cool, ain't it? I remember me telling you about a lightning fire in Okie Yeah, That tree was actually struck by lightning. It, it was struck probably seven or eight years ago. Most of the time when a tree is struck by lightning, it kills it. But it struck this tree on fire, and it actually burned the inside out of it to save the lives. Camouflage is an important survival strategy in the animal kingdom. The PLT Birds and Worms activity students will discover the value of protective coloration as they pretend to be birds in search of colored worms or bugs. Like pretend you're a bird flying over looking for one of these. is an active simulation to give students an understanding of the conditions that trees need to live and grow and that trees often must compete for their needs. And that's exactly right. And it's a beautiful tree farm. Today we're going to learn about what makes trees grow and what they need to grow. It's also something that we can do as Water pours out of our faucets as though it were endlessly available. Students see virtually every drop counts and discover how we can conserve water and ensure the water we have remains clean and available. Our forests support clean water 24-7. Blow your mind. It's called a natural resource. And that means basically that we can't make water. Okay? We use water over and over and over again in different forms. Now in my little model up here in just a few, few minutes, we're going to talk a little bit about, we're going to incorporate the water cycle. Okay, So the water is kind of comes from up here in the sky, kind of comes down to the ground, kind of goes back up, somewhere in there in the middle we use it. Okay, So we can't make water. So if we can't make water, don't you think we should try to take care of it? Try to conserve it? Try not to get it dirty, right? Mm -hmm. Wildlife is an important part of the landscape of Gully Branch Tree Farm. Students engage in Dress a Beaver to discover the many adaptations of the beaver and its place in the wildlife of the farm. 
We all need trees. Focus is on trees as a renewable and sustainable resource. A healthy forest is able to provide more than 5,000 wood products that enhance our daily lives. In addition, our working forests clean the air, clean the water, while providing wildlife habitat and recreation. Working sustainable forests take years of planning, resource investment, and intensive management. Ensuring the public understands these facts is critical to sustaining tree farmers like Earl and Wanda Bars. I mean, all the things that you can make from wood, okay? No, we can do that. Okay, let's look. So that's 500. But so she's going to add one more zero. Yeah, y'all are a smart group. So we can make over 5,000 things out of trees. So, but what I wanted to tell you was, what is the difference between a tree farm and a vegetable farm, a tree farm and a cotton farm? And that is that it takes four to five months to grow a crop of vegetables. But how long does it take to grow a tree once we plant them before we can do the first thinning? Right, when we plant these trees, and we planted a bunch of trees this year, we were praying for rain. When we planted those trees, it's going to take us at least, at the earliest, 12 years, usually 15. So it takes a long time to grow a crop of trees before you can begin to get any recoup on your investment. And that's sometimes people don't realize how long it takes to do that. And there are lots of things that can happen to your trees in that period of time. And y'all are going to learn about that if you haven't already. We have many partners. Our goal is to highlight the value of education and outreach as a critical component of forestry and natural resources. Most importantly, we want to ensure that present and future generations are equipped with the facts about the connection between these resources. The understanding of how our natural resources work together to support the environmental and economic needs of communities is fundamental to sustainable forestry.